Hello people and welcome back. So today I'm going to showing you how to create this custom cursor in React. As you can see, really cool. And also if I hover this text, bam, as you can see, really cool. The text will be coming uh, yellow. Uh, by the way, we are going to use uh, Framer Motion. So yeah, that's what we are going to be building and let's get started. So here I have done generate React application. So now let's go to the folder, which is custom dash cursor. And also, I'm going to open that with Visual Studio Code, and here we go. So now, let's remove a couple files that we don't need. This test here, logo, wrap up the file, set up test. Let's remove all this, like that. And I'm going to run the app, let's say yarn start. And also, let's go to index here, let's make it bigger. And I need to remove this uh, report web files here. Okay, so let's save and let's go back to app.js and also we need to remove all this header and in here I'm going to put h1, let's say hello world, okay, let's remove this logo and here we go. So now this is a uh, compile successfully and we have hello world, okay. So now let's add class name in this h1, I'm going to give a name a uh, title and also let's go to app.js, app.css here and i'm going to remove everything and let's grab the app class and in here i'm going to say display flags because i need to the text the hello world text will be coming in the center here so i'm gonna say display flags and let's say line item center justify content center and also the hake i'm gonna set that to 100 view hake not jh but you hate and also the background i want to set that to let's say yellow okay so now save and here we go cool so now let's styling the title i'm gonna grab the title let's say on size i'm gonna set that to 10 ram okay nice so now i'm going to create the cursor so let's say diff and I'm going to create div with single close tag like that. And also in here, I'm going to add class name set equals to cursor. Okay, so now save. Let's go to app CSS and I'm going to styling the cursor. So let's say cursor. Okay, so in here, I'm going to set the background color to let's say, let's say 111. All right, and also I'm going to set the hake into let's say 32 pixel. And also the width, I'm gonna set that to 32 pixel. All right, and also the border radius, let's set to 50% to make it circle. So now save and let's take a look. Right here, as you can see, this circle here, this is the cursor, all right? So now let's set the position to fix, position to fix. And also the top, I'm gonna set that to zero. And also the left, let's say zero. Okay, so now it's gonna be right here. All right, nice. So next what we need to do is grab the cursor position and store the value into the state. All right, so let's go back to app.js here and I'm going to create state. And let's say mouse position and also set mouse position. Okay, so that equals to your state. By default, I'm going to put object here. And I'm going to say X for the horizontally, set to 0, and also Y for the vertically, I'm going to set that to 0 as well. Alright, so let's console log the mouse position so we can see the value. Alright, so how do we update this value here? We can use use effect, by the way. Alright, so let's say here, use effect, alright, it's come from React, and also I need to run this use effect when the first time user go to this website all right so in here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna say window dot at even listener i'm going to listen for mouse move okay and also when the mouse is move i need to run the let's say mouse move function all right so we don't have yet so let's create up here so i'm gonna say cons mouse move set that equals to arrow function all right so down here i need to also remove the event listener so i can say return arrow function and also in here i'm going to say 
window dot say window dot remove even listener let's say mouse move and also the function which is mouse move all right and also in here i can grab the event and also console log the event let's say console log the event all right so now if i save this and go to the console and as you can see we get this value and basically what we need to grab is the client x and client y here okay so let's go back here and in here i'm going to set the mouse position which is this state here all right into let's say object all right so i need to grab the x and i'm going to put the value which is e dot client x all right like that and also for the y we need to say uh let's say e dot client y like that so now let's uh save and let's see i'm going to refresh and as you can see the value is updated every time i change the mouse position okay really cool so now what we need to do is we need to set the position of this circle here with this value so the circle will be following this cursor all right it's pretty simple to do that but i'm going to showing you how to do that with motion which is frame of motion so let's install the framer motion first so i'm going to open a new terminal and let's say yarn add framer let's say framer dash motion all right so hit enter and wait for that all right so it's done so now let's close this and to use the Framer motion, we can just simply put motion in front on the HTML tag. In this case, it's div. Okay. You can also put the motion in front on the H1 P tag or any HTML tag you want. So in this case, it's in front of this div. But of course, we need to import the motion from Framer motion. So we need to say import motion from Framer motion. All right so now we need to put variant in here so let's say variant set that equals to let's say variants okay variants so we need to create this variable variant so let's say cons variant set that equals to object okay it should be object always should be object and so in here i'm going to say default all right so this default it should be object and inside in here i'm going to set the x into let's say mouse position dot x to access this x value here okay and also for the y we need also access the mouse position dot y okay so now to use this default we can just simply put animate so that it goes to default like that just as simple as that as you can see guys really cool this uh circle here will be following the cursor but as you can see it's not in the center so that's why we need to uh decrement by 16. why 16 that's because we set the width in height 32 all right the height of 32 is uh 16 all right so now if i save this and as you can see it's in the center right now but how that we can remove the cursor it's pretty simple let's go back to apps css and we can put a global and i'm gonna say cursor to none all right so now save and bam pretty cool guys let's close this console so of course uh in here we can give any styling we want for example i'm gonna change the background color to for example let's say let's say yellow for example okay so now if i save and as you can see this yellow here it's my this my cursor it's simple as that okay so now what i'm gonna do is uh let's say let's create a state first here i'm going to create state to store this value here okay this default value because uh, when i go to these tags here there's a lot of chicken in my house but <laughs> anyway guys i need to when i hover these tags i need to change these tags here okay because uh, the first time is default i need to change that when i hover these tags so we need to put uh, these tags in the state so here i'm gonna say cons and mouse 
not mouse, I'm gonna set that uh, cursor for Ryan, I think. Say cursor for Ryan. Okay. And set cursor for Ryan. Set that equals to use state. And of course, by default, it's gonna be default. Okay. So now we need to put this value into this animate, like so. All right. So now what we need to do is when I hover this text, I need to change this uh, value here. Okay, how do we do that? Very simple. In this H1 here, I'm going to add on mouse, let's say on mouse enter, so that equals two. In here, I'm going to create file, create a function basically called text enter, and also on mouse leaf, I'm going to create function called text leaf. Okay, let's say leaf. So now let's create the function. So the first thing is let's create the text enter. So that equals to our function here. And what I'm gonna do is let's set the cursor variant into let's say text because we are going to create text in here like that. Okay, it's gonna be uh, following this uh, rule, this text rules. If I uh, on this text here okay but if i leave the text i need to run this text leave function okay and in here i'm going to say set cursor variant back to default all right so what i'm going to do in text is basically the first thing is i'm going to change the height all right and i'm going to say 150 and also the width let's say uh, 150 as well right so now if i save and let's take a look guys if i go to this wait <laughs> what happened what's really happened here oh yeah we need to set the x and y of course in here so let's copy and put in here and also we need to change this value to 75 okay so now save and let's try but as you can see here the circle is not stay on the bigger size what is problem here the problem is we need to set the pointer event into none here so let's say pointer event let's set it to none so now if i save and as you can see nice all right we need to also change the background color so let's say background dash color Set that equals to, I want to set that to yellow here. Let's say yellow. Okay. So now if I save and there we go. Really nice. But what I want is basically the cursor here is still black, but the text will be coming yellow. How do we achieve that? It's pretty simple. Basically, we can use mix blend mode. It's basically a CSS property and we can set this value into different okay difference and when i save and as you can see really cool really really awesome and yeah i think we're done with this simple video guys hope you can implement that in your next project thanks for watching and see ya